The Dahomey Kingdom, located in present-day Benin, was renowned for its all-female military regiment, the Agaji. These fierce warriors were founded to protect the kingdom and its people from external threats. The Agaji underwent rigorous training to hone their combat skills, physical endurance, and tactical prowess. They trained in archery, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and complex battle formations, making them a formidable force. The Agaji faced their first major challenge when a neighboring kingdom invaded Dahomey. Under the leadership of their commander, Naniska, they employed guerrilla tactics and surprise attacks to defeat the invaders and secure their kingdom. When the capital city of Abami was threatened by a powerful coalition of rival kingdoms, the Agaji stood as the last line of defense. Their strategic use of fortified positions and relentless fighting spirit repelled the attackers, safeguarding the heart of Dahomey. Under the leadership of King Gezo, the Agaji embarked on campaigns to expand Dahomey's territory. Their success in battle not only secured more land, but also brought wealth and resources to the kingdom. Facing a coalition of hostile tribes in the Atakora Mountains, the Agaji used their knowledge of the terrain to their advantage. They set traps and used ambush tactics to defeat the enemy forces in a series of skirmishes. In addition to their prowess in battle, the Agaji were also skilled diplomats. They brokered alliances and negotiated peace treaties, ensuring the stability and prosperity of the Dahomey Kingdom. To curb the influence of European traders and rival factions, the Agaji launched a daring raid on the coastal city of Wida. They disrupted enemy supply lines and captured valuable resources, asserting Dahomey's dominance. In a legendary encounter, the Agaji faced off against a larger, better-equipped army at the Amazon River. Using their knowledge of the river and surrounding jungle, they outmaneuvered the enemy and secured a decisive victory. As European colonial powers sought to expand their influence in Africa, the Agaji fiercely defended Dahomey's sovereignty. Despite facing advanced weaponry, their unyielding spirit and tactical brilliance made them formidable opponents. The Agaji laid siege to the city of Porto Novo, aiming to weaken the influence of rival factions and European allies. Their relentless assault and strategic acumen led to the city's eventual surrender. The legacy of the Agaji warriors continued to inspire future generations. Their bravery, leadership, and commitment to protecting their kingdom became a source of pride and a symbol of resistance against oppression. The Agaji warriors not only excelled in battle, but also influenced the Homian culture. Their stories were told in songs, dances, and oral traditions, becoming an integral part of the kingdom's heritage. In a climactic battle, the Agaji faced overwhelming odds against a powerful enemy coalition. Despite their valiant efforts, the battle tested their limits, showcasing their unbreakable spirit even in the face of near-certain defeat. Even after their decline, the spirit of the Agaji warriors lived on as a symbol of resistance against colonial oppression. Their legacy inspired future freedom fighters and leaders in the struggle for independence. These scenes and image prompts capture the epic battles, strategies, and enduring legacy of the fierce female warriors of Dahomey, the Agaji. Their story is one of bravery, tactical brilliance, and unyielding commitment to protecting their kingdom.